Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. The latest on a police shooting that may have saved a woman's life. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleets. Still ahead on 7 at 7, a look at preliminary results from Nevada's primary election. And bail is set for a man accused of keeping 15 animals in a U-Haul. We have details on this tragic discovery. Plus, there's a new tool for staying safe in the heat. We have details on the CDC's newly launched index. And celebrating Pride Month Las Vegas style. Take a look at the famous welcome sign lit up for the occasion in just a few minutes. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Police say officers fatally shot a man who was about to stab a woman on Saturday night. Our 7 at 7 AM news anchor Cynthia Puga has the details and the footage of what happened. This is what 43-year-old Maurice Smith told dispatchers before two officers opened fire on him. According to police, the man was about to stab a woman with a two-pronged fork. We do want to warn that the following images may be triggering to some audiences. Officers can be heard saying they didn't want to hurt Smith. Smith pulled the woman into his apartment and that's when officers rushed the front window. The body cam footage also shows the moments police say Smith was about to stab the woman before officers Alfredo Ramirez Chavez and Cruz Littlefield fired at him. According to police, Smith and the woman were taken to the hospital where Smith later died. This is the fourth fatal shooting involving Metro Police this year. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Cynthia Puga. More results are trickling in from the Nevada primary election after voters hit the polls Tuesday to cast their votes. Here's a look at some of the preliminary results as of 4.30 p.m. For the City of Las Vegas mayoral race, Shelley Berkeley is in the lead with 35.3% of the votes. Victoria Seaman trails behind with 29.5%. And in third place, Cedric Creer has 18.7%. If no candidate receives over 50%, the top two vote-getters will advance to the general election. In House District 4, the projected winner for the Democrats is incumbent Stephen Horsford with 89.9% of the vote. On the Republican side, it's a close race with John Lee leading with 48.6% of the vote and David Flippo following right behind with 44.9%. You can get the latest election results on LVRJ.com. A man is suspected of keeping his 15 animals in a U-Haul where six were found dead on Tuesday. And this afternoon, a Las Vegas judge set his bail at $50,000. According to the arrest report, Christopher Winter told police the animals were in the U-Haul because he had been evicted. Six dogs and three cats were rescued alive from the U-Haul, where police say the temperature had reached 125 degrees. Winter is due back in court on Monday and cannot possess any animals while his case is pending. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. The excessive heat warning officially wraps up at 9 p.m. tonight and we have an overnight temp around 79 degrees, but don't expect too much of a change during the next few days. Tomorrow we have a high of 106, then upper 100s for Friday and Saturday, then the highs will finally dip down a little, 104 on Sunday, 101 on Monday, and potentially dipping below triple digits next week. Lows will remain in the high 70s and low 80s through Saturday, then falling to the mid 70s for the first half of next week. In your health news, is it dangerously hot where you live? The Centers for Disease Control has launched a new tool to help you figure that out. The Heat and Health Index is the first nationwide tool to combine zip code level data on heat-related illness, pre-existing health conditions, and environmental factors to identify communities where people are most likely to feel the harmful effects of heat on their health. Just visit eph-tracking.cdc.gov. 
In business news, the top executive of the Strat is out of a job. General Manager and Vice President of the Strat Hotel, Stephen Thayer, is no longer working for the Las Vegas property. A spokesperson for Golden Entertainment, which operates the Strat, declined to comment about Thayer's departure. He previously served as Director, VP, and General Manager at Harrah's in Atlantic City. His last day at the Strat was June 5th. Now for your sports update, sponsored by PT's Taverns, your place to watch all the sports action. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. The UNLV Rebel football schedule sees a tiny adjustment, but it helps along a program record. Their week five game against the Syracuse Orange has been moved to October 4th, a Friday, to allow Fox Sports 1 to pick up the broadcast. This season for UNLV now features 11 nationally televised games, a school record, as well as five Friday games. Another program record. UNLV begins to play August 31st in Houston. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. During Raiders minicamp, the offense had its share of struggles. With a new playbook and the quarterback position still undecided, wide receiver Devontae Adams spoke about how the offense is progressing under a new system. It's a learning process for everybody getting getting comfortable with it. It was the same thing happened with the, the last offense when we were here. Things change on motions, you know, getting lined up is different formations. You might hear some things that were similar to what you had before, getting that out of your mind, kind of unlearning some stuff is a part of the process. So. Uh, we're just going to keep working. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The U.S. Open gets underway Thursday at Pinehurst number 2 in North Carolina, and Scotty Scheffler is a plus 250 favorite at Caesar Sportsbook. He is the shortest favorite to win any major since Tiger Woods in 2009. Xander Schauffele is a plus 850 second choice, followed by Roy McIlroy at 10 to 1. Colin Morikawa is 11 to 1, with Bryson DeChambeau next at 14 to 1, and Brooks Kepka at 16 to 1. Tiger Woods is 300 to 1, and support from betters is waning on the 15 time major champion. In lifestyle news, the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign has been lit up with the colors of the rainbow for Pride Month. Those on hand at the lighting say the rainbow lit welcome sign symbolizes Southern Nevada's inclusivity. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. One of the most well-known and successful franchises in anime has taken over the sphere. Fans of One Piece can now see new and never-before-seen images and clips of the hit anime show on display on the Exosphere. They gathered Tuesday night at the High Roller to get a first look. The display is in honor of the anime series' 25th anniversary. You can catch it on the Exosphere now through Sunday. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 tonight. You can catch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday. Just search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. See you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.